had to make the envelope like that. I was like, oh, oh that's so cute. Come out. No. Kayla. Yeah, right. turn now to the story that has really made our day, day frankly our week a nine-year-old florida girl got the surprise of her life last week she was doing a spelling bee at school and skylar johnson was given the word sergeant well she got it right and then her teacher asked do you know any sergeants that's where her dad comes in my dad your dad today boys and girls we have a very special sergeant here for skylar Staff Sergeant Theron Johnson has been on duty in southern Iraq. He hadn't seen his daughter since Christmas, and she was not expecting him. And as you can tell, joining us now, Sergeant Johnson, Skyler, and also Skyler's brother, Christian. It's great to have all of you with us this morning. Good morning. It's great to be here. Uh, Sergeant, I, I want to start with you. You really did some advanced planning on this one, going so far as to change the date that you told your kids that you would be home, correct? Yeah, yeah. I, I kind of messed up and told him I was going to be home at the end of September, which is which was correct, but because of the the spelling bee thing that we created, I had to change it and tell him, you know, something different. So, so it, it worked out. So Skylar, when you initially heard from your dad that he wasn't going to be home as early as you thought, that must have been pretty tough news to get. Yeah, I kind of cried after that after I got off the phone. Do you think it was Did worth it now? <laughs> Yes. Yeah. So take us back. You no, spelled the word sergeant perfectly, Skylar. No big surprise there probably to your dad or even to your teacher. But when you realized that it was your dad there on the stage, um, if you can, tell us what that was like for you. What was it like to have your dad hug you? Well, it was amazing. Like, you can't even describe it. Did it feel real? <laughs> yes, very real. What about you, Sergeant? Did it feel real to you? Oh, yeah. I couldn't wait. I was behind the curtain, and uh, I kept feeling my cue, and I was telling the lady that was operating the curtain, one of their assistants there at Con, I was like, open the curtain, open the curtain. I'm ready. <laughs> you know, I, She was only like three feet in front of me, and you know, we were that close, but the curtain separated us, and she didn't even know. What a fantastic <laughs> surprise. Now, Christian, you're, if I'm correct, you're at a different school, but you got a little surprise of your own, right? Uh, yes. Um, they told me I was going to early dismissal, and I didn't know what I was going to do, so I walked up to the stage, and I saw my dad in his uniform with my sister. So what was that like for you when you realized dad was home early and he came to surprise you? I felt like it was a dream that came to real life. <laughs> so you guys have had, uh, you've had some nice time together, and I know you have a few more days, sir, before you, uh, you have to go back. What have you been up to? Oh, we're at Disney. Disney World. <laughs> Not so bad to come home and take them to Disney. <laughs> it's been a really fun time. This may be a tough one, tough one for you to, to top, Sergeant Johnson. You're going to continue the surprises you think next time you come home. 
<laughs> well, you know, I guess they'll expect it next time because, you know, uh, I, I doubt I could top this. It's, it's really come unexpected form, and the way I, <clears throat> the way the, uh, Mr. Roberts and Mr. Raphael changed everything there at Boca Raton Elementary, they made it a really special moment. Well, they really, they, so they actually helped you put this moment together. In fact, it, 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 correct me if I'm wrong, but they actually staged the spelling bee in many ways so that you could do this with Skylar. Yes, it, it, was, it was exactly what stage. I, I contacted them a month before I came back to let them know, and then we worked it all. We had a month to do it, so it was plenty of time to plan, and, and it worked out. It was very special. I mean, it, I, little did I realize it was going to be the feel-good story of the week, I guess is what people are calling it. <laughs> well, I mean, it really is. It's, it's fantastic. It's, it's always, always does someone's heart good to see a reunion uh, of, one of, our, <laughs> one of our members in the military with their kids, but boy, you really, uh, you really talked a lot of them. Sergeant, thank you very much for being with us, and thank you for your service, sir. Thank you. Praise God. Thank you. All right, you guys, enjoy your few days with your dad, and uh, give him lots of hugs to take back with him. We know you'll have more when he gets home next time. Thanks again. Thank you Thank very you. much. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. <laughs>tonight a holiday homecoming that we just had to bring you little kensley penny of north carolina had only two things on her list for santa the three-year-old wanted a blue truck and her daddy who's been serving in afghanistan since march and even though christmas is still weeks away her wish has just come true
Kensley's dad, Sergeant Scott Penny, will be able to spend 18 days with his family. Damn. Haley's out there. Here she is. She just pulled out of the car. She's wearing my, uh... Somebody's surprised? That's another stick. Charleston, South Carolina, since two o'clock this morning. <laughs> All right, here we go to surprise Brandy. Hey, buddy. Hey. Hey. Oh, Surprise. What are you doing? Are you just walking back home with us? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Are you surprised? Yeah. Oh, here. I got that for you on my ship. Oh, thank you. Oh. You're welcome. 